kids i hope you all are fine today we are going to start chapter so read and enjoy chapter 2 the nightingale read and enjoy once upon a time there lived a great emperor in china his palace had the most beautiful garden in the world this beautiful garden ended near a dense forest in this garden lived a nightingale on one of the trees it sang very sweetly every passer by was forced to stop and hear her song travelers from all over the world came there to admire the emperor palace and his garden and when they heard the sweet song of nightingale they said this is the best of all soon the emperor heard about the nightingale he said what is this i know nothing of any nightingale is there really such a bird in my empire and even in my garden i command to bring the bird to my palace and make it sing before me but no one knew where the nightingale lived at last a poor little girl in the royal kitchen said i know where the nightingale lives it lives in the forest it sings melodiously when i am tired i rest under the trees and listen to the nightingale's sweet song its singing makes me forget everything so the little girl went into the forest where the nightingale sang and half the court followed her after walking a long distance the girl stopped near a tree and pointed at a little gray bird this is nightingale she said softly everyone looked up and said in disappointment no it can't be possible how dull it looks little nightingale said the little girl our emperor wants you to sing before him the nightingale replied my song sounds best in the forest but i will come to the palace for the emperor so the nightingale went to the palace the emperor looked at the bird and ordered it to sing the nightingale sang so melodiously that the emperor had tears in his eyes he ordered that the nightingale remain at his palace the nightingale was kept in a golden cage and given the best food to eat soon the bird was famous in the whole city when two people met one said nightingale and the other said gale this way it become a way of greeting one day the emperor received a parcel marked the nightingale when he opened it it was surprised to see a golden nightingale there was a golden key lying beside it the emperor turned the key several times and it started singing a beautiful song several times it sang the same tune and yet was not tired but there was the living nightingale so no one noticed that it had flown away no one even bothered as they had the best bird after all the golden bird was made to sing again and again until everyone knew its tunes by heart the whole year went by one day the emperor fell ill in his illness he wanted to hear a melodious song music he said golden bird your song will make me well again but the bird stood still it was worn out and no music was left in it everyone tried but the golden bird could not sing suddenly from the windows the most lovely song was heard it was the little lively nightingale that sat outside on a tree it had heard of the emperor's illness and had come to sing for him it sang the most beautiful song as it sang the emperor felt better thanks said the emperor you must always stay with me no replied the nightingale i cannot live in a palace 
I will come here on the tree near the window and sing for you. But you must promise me something. Anything for you, said the emperor. Let not any bird live in a cage, said the nightingale. The emperor replied, as you wish. The nightingale flew away happily. I hope you enjoyed this chapter. We will meet in the next chapter. Thank you so much.